Um, so this app is going to be very similar to your factorial app. The only difference is um, you're going to be performing a different operation um, inside of the loop. Um, what it does is it takes any number. Let's say you pick five. And it adds five to four to three to two to one. Basically takes all the numbers below it and adds it to itself. If you did 10, it would add 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Um, so when we run it, we can see, so like one plus nothing is one. Um, and then if you two, it's gonna add two and one. So that gives you three. If you have three, it's gonna be three plus two plus one. Or six, if I did like, let's say 10, um, it's gonna be 10 plus nine plus eight, gives us 55. And you can see all the answers. Um, so the magic really happens um, after we grab this number. So we ask the user for a number and we grab it. Um, and our sums always start at zero because nothing plus nothing is zero. Um, you really need to think about your loop. Um, so I started my loop at one because I wanna add I to whatever the sum is during each loop. And I end it whenever I get to the number the user chose. So it's gonna be whatever the number they chose, that's when I stop. And we're just increasing by one each time. Um, so we add one, we add the sum to itself. Um, so if we want to, for example, watch this. Oh, that's not what I want to do. Um, but anyways, so the first loop, it's going to be zero plus one, and it makes the sum one. The second loop is going to be one plus two, then it's going to be blank plus whatever i is. Um, so if you really want to actually um, get even more in depth, I would even maybe just display what i is in the console log as well. Um, so I'll add that in there. I'm just going to say display value of i. And then I'm going to put the variable in here. So you can see uh, what loop number we're in. Um, so if I run this again now and I do five, um, you can see I at the first loop, second loop, third loop, fourth loop, fifth loop, it stops. Um, so really in your factorial, you're just going to have to think about we're not summing the numbers together, but we are multiplying them. So you're going to have to change something about that there.